Good morning, folks. Let's head right to spaceweathernews.com and check in on our star. We're going to begin by taking two looks at a plasma filament departing the Earth-facing disk, and then we'll take two looks at one coming in from the other side to replace it. In today's news, we'll have analysis of the coronal hole stream impact at Earth, the Earth-facing solar quiet, top quakes of the day, some very interesting news releases, and more. Let's jump to the incoming limb. Here's that replacement filament. If it holds on a few more days, he'll be in the Earth-facing position and will likely be the primary eruption threat on our star. The angle of orientation suggests that the ejection profiles for this rope are either due south or directly outward, so that second option means we'll need to be paying attention. The Earth-facing solar quiet effect has been en force. CMEs are leaving the sun on almost a daily basis, but the Earth-facing quarter of the sun doesn't seem to get its 25%, does it? Remember, folks, we've got hours of discussion on the Earth-facing quiet at suspiciousobservers.org and in our book, Observing the Frontier. Both can be found linked on this page for you. Let's confirm that on the X-ray solar flare chart. Nothing doing but those little jitters this morning. That's on the appearance of a new sunspot group at the limb while the Earth-facing spots continue to decay and fade. Okay, folks, here's the second half of our previous story. Northern portion of the Corona Hole caused no quakes and could not get its IMF to point at Earth. Its stream missed. The southern extension faced us dead on, triggered the big India quake, and two days later... Here comes the solar wind. Density bulges first with coronal hole stream shockwaves, then it's followed by a surge in speed. The KP index registers the impact as producing a level 1 geomagnetic storm that could be waning already, but the K index shows a level 3 storm, and the Q shows sustained level 2 disruptions. Moderate rumbles continue in the far west Pacific, with a rare one in North Korea that somebody should check to make sure wasn't an underground nuke test. You may remember their last underground nuke test managed to avoid setting off infrasound detectors, but the earthquake it produced gave them away. Top news is about the shockwaves made by fast-moving stars. Just like a ship will begin pushing water to the sides, out a bit ahead of the actual hull metal, the shockwaves extend out in space as well, and they are energetic in character. The other story is another pushback to the start of an oxygenated Earth. Star water enthusiasts know the further they push this back, the more likely star water was the genesis. You can learn about star water, the earth facing solar quiet, and all our other favorite topics at suspiciousobservers.org. You can also get links to our book, our other free websites, and our conference website, Observing the Frontier. Couple weeks away, folks. Head over to spaceweathernews.com slash OTF for details. We've got pressure and radar forecasts in our top viewer locations and shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.